It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith the Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video, oh, Happy Easter. This is the third video I almost forgot about. Happy Easter. Well, being as I'm doing it the day before Easter, it's kind of, you know, so happy Easter in case I miss it at the end. Uh, today's video, before I get off the track and get really stupid, uh, did you realize there was a least little bit of jealousy between Andy Griffith and Don Knotts? That's what they say. Let's take a look. Uh, in the third season of the Andy Griffith show, Opie copes with mounting jealousy. As Andy's new girlfriend starts to take up more and more of his dad's time. In Opie's rival well, audience was retreated to one of the classic episodes that established Sheriff Andy as a sort of father who could help his son navigate emotional ups and downs. In 2003, Andy Griffith told the Courier Journal that what made the Andy Griffith show so successful was Andy being a good listener. He let Opie figure things out for himself, Griffith said. The next year, in 2004, Griffith felt a tug of nostalgia and decided to move back to Toluca Lake, I hope I pronounced that right, the place he called home while he was filming the Andy Griffith show. Buying a $2.4 million home and his re uh, relocation put him back in the orbit of his old co-star, Don Knox. And according to Andy and Don, the making of a friendship and classic TV show, for the first time in the old friends' lives, Knox had to learn to cope with his own jealousy, as thick as Opie's, over how much his wife, Francie, delighted in Griffith's jokes. She thought Andy was so funny. The story goes that Griffith and Knotts would take their wives out for dinner, and Andy would always tell jokes to crack Francie up. That would make Don jealous, Daniel Devise writes in his book, recounting how one night Francie commented on Andy's hilarious jokes, at supper one time too much. I'm the funny one, Knotts insisted. A splash of jealousy was rare between Knotts and Griffith, who supported each other throughout their careers. In his book, Devise writes that Don's jealousy over which one of them was funnier mirrored attention between the actors that arose when Knotts won five Emmys for the Andy Griffith show, and Andy got none. Whether Andy Griffith felt jealous or not, he intentionally set Andy up to be the straight man and let, John, uh, let Don Knotts uh, to put on a show to draw all the laughs. The duo, Griffith brought out the best in Knotts, and every Emmy that Don won owed at least a small debt to that dynamic. Dynamic. Uh, we know whatever small jealousies might have arisen, it didn't affect their friendship. On these nights, while Francie was delighting in Griffith's humor, and he couldn't help himself declaring how much he found her husband, his old pal Don's company, the greatest delight. Oh, I love Don, Andy would tell Francie. I love him so much. I think that's the kind of jealousy a man could put up with. What do you think? Uh, it's, if you've if you got a friendship like that, best cherish it. Have a great Easter, guys. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there and please subscribe. Uh, God bless you. I'll be praying for you.